there my futuristic crew, Silver the Hedgehog here, and welcome back to some more New Super Mario Bros. 2. In the previous episode, we completed World Star, and as a result, basically completed everything in this game. But there are still a few things I need to show off. You see, there are hidden levels in this game known as Rainbow Levels. Now, I'm going to explain a bit more as I enter this level, so I'm going to go ahead and enter World 1-1. And I'm going to explain a bit about these Rainbow Levels. So, Rainbow Levels, what they are, is they are essentially, um bonus missions that are a little hidden because the specific way to actually get them is actually by completing the level at a certain time. You might have seen this at the in some of my um, episodes, uh, specifically, I believe it was like World uh, World 5 and uh, the actually the last world. So it's a bit complex in there, you know, I guess a bit hidden. So, you know, it's kind of a level that can actually be missed. But basically, to explain, what you need to do is you see that timer, you need basically your timer, the last two digits, to be the same of what the world number is. So, this is world one, so I need to basically hit the flagpole when this uh, timer reaches 411. Now, I want to mention that the first uh, number does not actually matter, it is the second and third. Once you do that, you will basically be able to unlock a hidden bonus level, which is known as the Rainbow Levels. What the Rainbow Levels are is they are basically a coin collecting fest, and I will show you as soon as I do this. Anyways, here we go. We're about to do it. Let's go ahead and wait. Five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. So after I grab the flagpole, you're going to get a bit of a different ending, which you might have seen before in some of my previous videos. I'm going to get a firework, and there's going to be a rainbow. What this is going to do is this is going to unlock at the very start of the world a rainbow level. Now I want to mention that you can only play these once, so make sure you choose wisely on like I guess how you play it. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and do the rainbow missions. These are the last things that I have to do in this uh, in this game, and well, we're gonna do it. It is actually a lot of fun, so I am definitely looking forward to this. Here we go. We get launched up in the sky, and as you can see, everyone. It is a coin collecting, uh, it's just, it's just a coin collecting, um, I don't know, what, what do you call it? It's just a coin collect fest. And, well, this is why this game, you know, has a lot of coins. As you can see, there's a hundred coin right there, and these are a bit easier to get 50 coins in. There's 10, 30, and 50, and, well, coming up here, there's one for a hundred. And I got a hundred right there. And once you get to the very end, you just get a bunch of coins, and then... You're gonna jump off, and that is it. That's actually the entire level. Now there is one for each world, and basically, I wanna mention again, the way you get these is by basically the um, the world number, you need the last two digits of the timer to match what the world number is. So in this next level, you need to have your last two numbers end in two, two. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut, because you don't really need to see me completing this level again. So I will be right back. All right, so here we go. So like I said, this is world two. So we need the last two digits to be two, two. And there we go. So it's the same as usual. We're going to get some fireworks. We're going to get two fireworks this time. And well, we're going to get a rainbow. So there we go. Each rainbow mission is basically the concept is the exact same, but every mission is actually a bit different. So let's go ahead and do the rainbow level for world two. So I hope you guys will enjoy this kind of video. You know, it's bonus content. You know, we've already completed the entire game. So this is kind of the last thing to do. But I will also be showing off one more thing at the end of this video besides the rainbow level. So stick around for what that is. I'm not going to say exactly what it is yet. But as you can see, so many coins, just collecting a bunch of coins. I'm curious what, um, like what coin number we'll be at, um, at the end of this, um, the end of this video. All right, let's go ahead and collect more coins. Get the 100 coin, just like that. And let's go ahead and get the red ring. Now, you might be thinking, what's in the red ring here? Because it's a rainbow mission. Well, similar to the can missions, it is a gold flower. Now, I've already basically beaten everything in this game, so the gold flower is basically useless. But it's alright. And, well, there's nothing left to do in this level besides jump off. And, there we go. Alright, well, with that, we've completed the second rainbow level. And now it's time to go to World 3. So, again, similar. You know, I'm going to sound like a broken record. I'm going to go ahead and cut, and I will see you guys at the end of this level. Alright, so here we are at the end of this level, and I did actually end up using the gold flower, and then I lost it. But, as you can see, there we go. And, since this is world 3, the last two digits need to be 3-3. Three, three. Again, it's pretty easy to remember, but just so you guys remember and follow along with me, I will show myself actually getting the fireworks each time. 
I do want to mention, by the way, you can actually do this in any level. It doesn't need to be the first mission or the first level. It can be in any level. Anyways, let's go ahead and do World 3's Rainbow Level. Alright, so what did you guys think? Whenever you first played this, did you ever get the, um, did you ever get the rainbow missions? Did you ever find out about them accidentally? Let me know in the comments down below, because, I mean, they are definitely a bit hidden, you know. Again, I did accidentally get them uh, throughout my playthrough, but, you know, they are a bit hidden, so, you know, if you don't, like, if you're not really aware of it, you may go through this entire game without ever playing a rainbow mission. Oh, Hunter Coin, there we go. Alright, 10 coin. Uh, 10 coin again. There we go, 100 coin once again. We're getting so many coins. And here we go, the final stretch. There we go. And down we go. There we go. That is World 3. Now let's go ahead and go to, you guessed it, World 4. And similarly, I'm going to cut until I'm at the end of World 4. Or, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut until I'm at the end of this, uh, this level. <laughs> Be right back. All right, everyone, here we are. So this is World 4, so you guessed it. We need to touch the flagpole at 4-4. And there we go. So we unlock the uh, the fourth rainbow level, the rainbow level of World 4. So you guessed it. We get four fireworks, you know, yada, yada, yada. Same thing, guys. I'm going to be sounding like a broken record, so just work with me throughout this video. But there we go. Let's go ahead and start the rainbow level of World 4. All right, so we're already, you know... Almost halfway done. We still got a lot to go. You know, this is basically, again, this entire video is just going to be showing off the rainbow levels, you know, so it's going to be a lot of repeats, you know, a lot of coin collecting, but I still hope you guys enjoy the bonus content. So we got a lot of coins right here. You don't actually need to complete the rainbow missions for 100%. They are, you know, optional or the rainbow levels. I don't know why I keep saying missions. I'm sorry, everyone. Um, but yeah, you don't actually need to complete the rainbow levels in order to 100% this game. Um, it's just optional, and, well, since I want to kind of show off everything, I am doing it, because, you know, why not? They, they're fun. All right, well, this gold flower is actually going to replace my tanuki leaf that I have, and there we go. Let's go and collect these coins. There we go. And, well, let's just jump to our death. Not actually to our death. It's all the way down here. All right. So, now it's time for World 5. Now, if you guys remember, I actually already got the Rainbow Mission. So, I'm not even really going to explain it because, well, you guys already know. So, to unlock the World 5 Rainbow level, you need to have the timer, the last two digits, at 5-5. Five, five. Pretty easy enough. Hope you guys remember that. But that is how you unlock this. I accidentally unlocked it when I did World 5 in my playthrough. So, hope you guys can remember to do it on your own. It's really not that hard. Anyways, let's go ahead and start World 5 Rainbow Mission. Level. Man, I don't know why I keep saying mission. Just bear with me, guys. I'm sorry. I guess like, it's because I'm used to Sonic, because, you know, Sonic levels or missions, you know, I guess you can call them whatever. It doesn't really matter. Anyways, we do have a bit of a similar layout right here, but the coins uh, kind of form differently, and, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So, as you can see, there we go, and uh, let's see. There we go, got 50 coins. Well, two of them fell off. That sucks. All right, more coins. 100 coins right there. Let's see if I can get this. Ah, oh, 10 coins, dang it. That was like the worst amount I could get. It's okay. All right, well, this is the end of World 5 Rainbow, uh, Rainbow Level, so let's jump off. And there we go. All right, so we did that. Now it is time to go to World 6. And World 6 is, well, very similar. We just need to beat this level with 6-6 six, six at the end. So, I will see you guys there. All right, so here we go. Similar to literally every other level. This is World 6. So, 6-6 six, six is what we need to have. And there we go. Again, guys, it's the same thing. You know, it's not too hard. You know, World 1, 1-1. One, one. World 2, 2-2. Two, two. Then 3-3, 4-4, 5-5, 6-6, five, five, six, six, etc. It's the same thing, you know, in every, in every world. But there we go. We unlocked the rainbow level for World 6. So you might be thinking, oh man, it's World 6. Does that mean it's going to be surrounded by a bunch of lava? No, you can't actually die in these missions. So that's very good. These are, this is the only part that shows a bit of lava. But then once you launch up, it is just sky and rainbow. So nothing to worry about. This is a bit different though. We don't actually have coins um, falling right away. We just have a, I guess you could say a ring of coins or a circle of coins, whatever you want to call it. And it's a bit easier to grab, so that's cool. 
All right, let's go ahead. I'm keeping an eye out for the 100 coins. There's usually a big 100 coin that always, like, falls here. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and collect all this. There we go. There's the 100 coin. And hey, look, it's another red ring. I mean, I already have a gold flower, so I really don't need this. But, I mean, might as well collect it anyways. <laughs> Just to get another one. Why not? But here we go. Here is the final stretch that has a bunch of coins, and let's just go ahead and leap. And there we go. So there we go. We have done those missions or levels. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to World Mushroom now. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute. Um, what do I have to do for this world? Because it's World Mushroom. It's not like we are exactly going to know what number it is. Well, this is considered the seventh world, so... 7-7, seven, seven, guys. Not too hard whatsoever. I will see you guys at the end of this level. So, like I said, everyone, this is considered the seventh world. So even though it says it's World Mushroom, this is considered the seventh world. So just grab it at 7-7, seven, seven, and you will unlock the rainbow level of this world. So there we go. And this time, well, we get seven fireworks. There we go. All right, we only have a few rainbow levels left. And there it is. All right. Let's go ahead and do the Mushroom Rainbow Level. The Mushroom World's Rainbow Level, I guess I should say. There we go. And it looks like we broke 300 lives, so that's pretty cool. But not as cool as what's going to happen at the end of this video. Hint, hint. Anyways, more coins, more coins. Again, it's a big repeat. The levels are a bit different. And, uh, ooh, I'm going to try to collect all these coins. Nice, there we go. All right, let's see if we can get this. There we go. Collect all these coins. And there we go. And we got another red ring, which we can get another gold flower if we really need it. We really don't because, well, I mean, there's not really any more missions to do. Levels. Huh. I'm gonna... Good lord. I don't know why I keep saying missions. I mean, again, I guess it's the same thing. Ooh, there was a hundred coin right there that tried to sneak past me. But there we go. Anyways, it is time to now go to the flower world. So, similar to the mushroom, this is considered the 8th world, so the end timer needs to be at 8-8. Eight, eight. The last two digits need to be 8-8. Eight, eight. I'll see you guys at the end of this level. So, similar to the mushroom world, this is considered the 8th world, so I just need to wait until the last two digits are at 8-8. Eight, eight, and there we go. This time we're going to get 8 fireworks and unlock the rainbow level for the flower world. So, there we go. Again, pretty easy to remember. You know, just kind of just follow the worlds in order. So, not too hard whatsoever. But, there we go. We have unlocked World Flowers Rainbow Level. So, let's go ahead and do it. Alright, this is the second to last Rainbow Level. So, let's go ahead and do it. I have to say, I really like how the music sounds in, like, right here in the Flower World. It's, it's really nice. Anyways, here we go. And we got a more, more coins. Again, all these... The levels are just a coin collect fest. You know, it's just all about collecting coins. I mean, this game is all about collecting coins. So, you know, it's pretty cool. And more coins just falling all the way there. And there's another red ring that I really don't need because, well, I already have a gold flower stored. So, it's really not useful whatsoever. But there is, you know, another 100 coin um, right there. So, there we go. And there's just a few coins left. Let's just go ahead and grab these. Let's go ahead and get them. And then let's jump. And get a few more coins. So, there we go, everyone. Alright, and well, without further ado, it is time to do the last rainbow level, which we already have unlocked. So, similar to the last two worlds, you just need to end with the last two digits on 9-9. Nine, nine. So, go in this level or any level. Have the last two digits on 9-9, and you will unlock the final rainbow level. So, with that, let's go ahead and do World Star Rainbow Level. Here we go. The final rainbow level. So, I hope you guys have been enjoying this. You know, kind of enjoyed me showing off the bonus content of this game. You know, it's, I guess, something else at the end of the playthrough. So, that's pretty cool. And here we go. And as you can see, since the theme is a star, there is a bunch of coins that are just made of stars. And, well... There's just a lot of coins. This one has an excessive amount. And there we go. There's another one. And there's another red ring in case we need it. We really don't. But I'll try to collect it anyways. There are a lot of coins in this mission. I mean, it is the final world. So, you know, I guess they have to have a lot for the final one. 
And there we go, another star. There's another one. And I believe that's it. Yep. There we go, everyone. That is actually it. We have done all the rainbow levels. And hey, we got to 35,000. Nice. All right, well, that is it, guys. We have done pretty much everything. But there is one more thing I want to show off. So I've mentioned many times how the max amount of lives is 1,110. But I've never shown off how you get it. Well, I'm finally going to show it off. So what you need to do is you need to first kill this Koopa Troopa, or not kill it, but you need to basically uh, do that with the shell. And then you need to ground pound to basically make a staircase. And then if you time it correctly, and you bounce like that, you will get infinite one-ups, and this will keep going until you get to the max live. So this is a very easy uh, like exploit, and as you can see, you will get a bunch of lives. It just keeps going. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna get all the lives and like by the end of this, so because there is a timer and then I need to beat the level. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up, even if I die. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up until I get to the max amount of lives. So I will see you guys in a minute. All right, so I want to mention at this point that I only have less than 100 seconds left, and you may notice that my lives are turning into crowns. That is how you know that you have the max lives. Your lives will turn into three crowns, which means you have 1,110 lives. All right, now I've got 67 seconds to beat this level. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm going to attempt it. I do want to mention, though, with doing that exploit that I'm not actually pressing any buttons. I'm literally just, um, I'm just basically jumping and then after that, I'm just letting Mario do his thing. I'm not pressing any buttons whatsoever. All right, I've got 47 seconds. Okay, this is going to be very close. Um, All right, let's go ahead and do it. But yeah, there we go. That is what max lives look like, guys. And it's actually essential for um getting the uh, star because basically by the end of this game, you will actually uh, get stars added to your file, which I will actually show off in a bit. And uh, basically to actually get the whole thing. Oh, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Let's go. Just like there. All right, there we go. I did it. I didn't die. I somehow did not die. Whew, there we go. There we go, guys. We have got max lives, 1,110. And you know you actually have it because as you can see, Mario takes off his hat. But there we go, guys. Officially, that is everything to do on this file. This is a completed save file now. Anyway, so like I was saying, as you go through the game, you get stars throughout um, kind of different achievements. And one of the stars is actually required that, um, that you want to get is actually by maxing out your lives counter. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and save. And I'm going to go ahead and show off my file. Let's go ahead and save the game. Progress saved. And let's go ahead and go to the title screen. So with that, here's the title screen. Let's go to solo play. And as you can see... On my first file right here, I've got five stars. Now, if you follow this guide completely, then you should have five stars as well. Now, my stars are shiny, and that is because I didn't use the, the uh, Tanuki Leaf. Basically, if you die too many times, you will get a special Tanuki power-up that makes levels easier. But it never showed up for me, and I never used it. So, if you want to have five shiny stars, then just follow this playthrough, and then you will. So, I guess to go into more detail, the... um. The way to get five stars is you basically need to beat Bowser in World 6. 
You need to find and spend every star coin. You need to find all the moon coins. You need to find every exit in the game. And then you need to max out your lives counter. But other than that, guys, I can successfully say this is a completed save file. And well, besides Coin Rush, which I will maybe show off, I haven't really considered it yet, but I, I think I will be doing it. But with that, guys, that is officially it. There is no more to show off on this file. My file is completed. So if you guys enjoyed this playthrough, please hit that like button. It would be very appreciated. And if you want to show more support, consider subscribing and click that notification bell to get notified when I upload. Anyways, guys, with that, that is the end. That is the end of this playthrough. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And will I do Coin Rush? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys comment that you want to see the coin rush, then I will consider adding more content. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this playthrough. I appreciate it. All the support. And see you later, my futuristic crew.